Hey everybody, Lone Star Rocker here. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little more environmentally conscious. We're going to go check out the Herd Museum. Let's go hang out. Right, here we are at the entranceway. Never been here before. Welcome to the Herd Museum Nature Science Museum and Wildlife Sanctuary. Should be interesting. It's a nice, beautiful day out today. Welcome to the Herd Texas Native Plant Garden. So you see a lot of the uh, plants that are indigenous to this area here. Cool here, so all right, we're gonna go on inside, check it out here. Okay. Eighteen fifties, there were billions. By nineteen fourteen, there were none. The passenger pigeon. I see him down there. What kind of birds are those? There's a snake back there. Oh, look out. I see a skunk. Well, these are pretty cool. It's a beaver. Pretty cool little uh, setups in here. All the different wildlife displayed. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. turtle. What's up, buddy? Get me out of here, man. Whoa, it's pretty it's like spooky. Yes. Looks like we're in water. Different shell collections in here. Probably collected from the golf area. Shells. The mollusks. Some mollusk shells up here. So definitely a collection uh, that they've kind of had for a while. It's pretty wild. Hey, that's cool. The fossil of an ichthyosaurus. Fish lizard. Pretty cool little uh, mural painted in here. Like it. This guy up here. Hey, you got any picnic baskets? These brown bears. I have not seen a brown bear in Texas yet. That, that's a staghorn gypsy. It's all these minerals. It's pretty cool stuff, man. Big old crystals. And some rose back there. Really cool. This is all stuff in Texas that you find. So start digging. Wow. What am I? A Tylosaur head. Imagine getting bit by that. No thanks. This is the Mosasaur. Nearly 50 feet long and weighing as much as a school bus, this creature was coming to North Texas 75 million years ago. Time when part of the state was underwater. This giant volcanic glass. Wow. Well, it's definitely sciencey in here. Lots of exhibits to do. This, this place is pretty cool. It's only like nine bucks. This boa constrictor. His name's Leo. There's Leo. What's up, buddy? What do you think he eats? Mm, I don't know. Mice. Some interesting taxidermy back there. Cat catches a bird, you think he could do it? Yeah. An iguana back there. Digit the iguana. Oh, he opened his eyes. He's not, he was sleeping. He's like, oh man, come on. Give me a break already with these tours. Can't really see it all that great through the gate. Little fence there. The tortoise. What's up, buddy? Hey, all right. Mm -hmm. The eagle. Mm -hmm. 
So this place is cool, you know, if you don't like stuffed animal, stu you know, stuffed taxidermy, you probably wouldn't like it here, but, you know, it's all to kind of show that it's uh, local to this area as far as nature goes. Dig that. Here, hit it again, yeah. Hit the button. You gotta hold it in. This creepy stuff. No, thank you. All right, some snakes. This is gonna be cool. All right, speckled king snakes. Oh, there you go. Sammy, Sammy the snake. There's another snake here, the prairie king snake. Must be like cousins. Oh, there you go. It's a diamond back. This is in there hanging out. You do not want to get bit by that thing. Oh, I see here. What do we got? Crane break rattlesnake or a timber rattlesnake? Look how big he is, man. Here's a cottonmouth. You know, I'm not really into snakes, but they are cool. I just avoid them. There's a rat snake. Huh. I would not know they were that color. Why'd there have to be snakes? I hate snakes. Uh oh, he's moving. The spider's on the go. I don't Here's... Want to go. Sorry. Yeah, he is. He sees the camera. He must like the camera. Let's see, it's a gemstone window. Okay, cool. It's like gemstones in the glass instead of stained glass. It's pretty wild. Violet, you've been here before. Are there animals outside? There are? Oh, the Richardson mammoth. So they kind of dug up a mammoth uh, Fossils here, I guess. That's cool. Near Richardson, maybe. All right, so that was a little bit of the inside. Now they have a nature trail outside with the animals. We're gonna go scope that out. Are you a raccoon? Yep. At least it's shady. It's not super hot today. Are you ready to hike? So they've got a herd trail map. The Hoot Owl Trail, Blue Stream Trail, Sycamore Trail. And apparently it's Copperhead mating season, so that's nice. Blue Stream Trail. Hikers on the Blue Stream Trail can take on views of the herd's 50 acre wetland. It's a protected place for wildlife. Oh, pets are not allowed, unfortunately and you have to stay on designated trails. So that's kind of neat. You can go hiking back here. That's where the house, little houses are. This way? Uh-huh, this way. Maybe they have some kind of bird show up here. Okay, so this is cool. Pioneer Village. Come on down, Pioneer Village now. Let's check it out. So all your little houses back here. Somebody took the time to build all this stuff for the kids. Uh-huh. Get this little schoolhouse. It's cute for the kids. All right, what's back here? Animals of the world. All right, well, this is cool. So you get a little zoo. A little mini zoo, that's cool. Oh, wow, yeah, I see some animals. That there, huh? 
A Patagonian cavy. Oh, white nose catamundi. Cotamundi. Right, well, he'll come back this way. He's probably doing laps. Oh, yeah, here he comes. He's coming back. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, he psyched this out. Here he comes. Almost. There he goes. Oh, oh, where's he going? He psyched this out again. And we got the ring-tailed lemur. Hey, buddy. Oh, some interesting wildflowers, wine cup flowers. Springtime's almost over. The white tailed deer. Maybe not so white tail. This is a great little nature trail out here. It's very quiet. You can hear all the birds, all this nature sounds. It's a cool little boardwalk path here. What kind of bird was that? The prairie. It doesn't give up anything easily unless it's horizons and sky. It's like little ass on the prairie. Where's Big Hoss? Oh, you're taking off. There she goes. Come back. We ran into a prairie, so we're going back the other way. A little too far. All right, I see a bobcat from over there. Ride right, the butterfly tent. Native butterflies of Texas in the butterfly tent. Let's do it. Everywhere, huh? Oh, Go. Pretty butterflies flying around. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Pretty cool. They're all out there getting ready to come out. Is there any that are about to come out that you can see? Um, I don't see any. Usually whenever they're about to come out, the casing comes like really clear. So uh -huh. you can see what type of butterfly it's in. It. But, okay. Um, right now, I don't see any. It's about the right temperature though, I'm sure. About an hour to get through it. I couldn't imagine going any hotter than it is today. It's pretty warm. Can I go and check the All right, so that was the nature trail. It was pretty cool. Got uh, you know a lot of raccoons. That bobcat was awesome. Although you know when it's hot out, the animals usually sleep. So let's see what we got here. What trail is this? The Sycamore Trail. Hmm, I have to look it up. So this is cool here, they got a little amphitheater. That's funny? Yeah, see? Cleaning your foot. All right, good job. air condition woohoo well it was getting a little humid out there water fountain exhibit 
Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I think I got something happening with the lighting here, I'm not sure. Oh man, I don't know if I could have any of this in my house though. can buy some geodes here, some crystals. They have a lot of crystals and minerals inside there. So this place is great for field trips. They take the kids here a lot, learn about nature. You know, for the price, it's pretty cool in the sense that, you know, it only costs like nine bucks and you get a little bit of a zoo experience mixed with a science museum. So I would recommend it. All right, so the alligator might be hungry to get that little rabbit over there. These rabbits are everywhere, man. If they had a rabbit on exhibit, I would have been bummed out. All right, so that was the Herb Museum. Pretty laid back, uh, you know, lots of fossils, minerals, taxidermy, stuff like that, but definitely educational for kids. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, upload something cool to watch. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I got a lot of stuff planned in the future, some shows, we're gonna go to some other cool stuff. And uh, so anyway, uh, I want you guys to have the most rocking day.